Hey everybody, Rob Wardgale, your favorite silencer nut job. In today's very brief video, I wanted to compare three things. One, yes, it's time to finally start talking about 300 Blackout. But before I dive into 300 Blackout, I wanted to touch on just a little bit, one of maybe 10 reasons why I don't love 300 Blackout. And that is the sound delta. Everyone talks about, oh, the subs are so quiet, and, you know, and I get that, and it is quieter. And today I wanted to dive a little bit deeper into how much quieter is the 300 Blackout subsonic compared to a standard 5.56. Now, how I wanted to get this metric is first, I've got a 6.75 inch SIG Rattler. And I wanted to play with that a little bit with my tried and true, one of my top say three 30 caliber suppressors and that is the ptr vent one then i wanted to move on to a nine inch ar host so that we could hear how much quieter a nine inch is compared to a 6.75 inch because i'm noticing that there is a pretty big difference then finally i wanted to compare the nine inch which is like really very good sounding to a full size 14.5 inch with a rhino s now the rhino s is within the top four of my favorite 556 silencers and i wanted to compare kind of lateral work my way up into the Rattler how it sounds and I found it to be okay and then the 9 inch 300 blackout and I found it to sound very good and then to compare that to a more capable 556 now I'm about to go on a coyote hunt so I'm kind of preparing my gear for that and as I'm looking at this hunt a lot of guys have asked me are you going to take a 338 arc are you going to take a 300 blackout and the answer is definitely not and while most of the time a predator is caught close to the call between 40 to 90 yards ish more often than not on my three-day hunt i'll find one dog who's stubborn at 150 sometimes two 250 or sometimes you hit him and he rolls out and then he takes off and you get a second shot at like 350 yards and that's really really pushing it for a 300 sub now i know you can hit steel at that distance when you're goofing around but when a coyote's heading outbound that's a little bit tough of a shot so i'm going to be taking a 556 but i wanted to compare the sound difference between the nine inch 300 blackout and my standard 556 guys if you haven't already hit that like comment subscribe it really does go a long way. Today we're going to be using 50 grain American Eagle in my 556. That's my favorite predator round, hollow tipped ammunition. And then for the subsonic, I'm going to be using Magtech 200 grain ammunition. All right, guys, let's get into it. It looks very peanut butter yummy. I might call this my Reese's peanut butter cup. I love this little thing. All right, let's send a few rounds just to get a, a feeling for how loud this gun is. Don't shoot my camera. That first one rings my right ear just a hair, and it's because that barrel is really, it goes to here. It's a really very short barrel. Second round wasn't much different. Still rings that right ear just a little bit. Let's switch it over to the nine inch. PTR Vent One. Let's give her a go. That has a much deeper sound to it with that nine inch barrel. On first round pop, I got no ringing in the right ear. Let's do one more. Yeah, that's, that's tolerable. I could do this all day on a hunt, but again, 300 blackout subs is kind of limited for coyotes. Let's move over to the 5.56 five, now. That's what I mean about the comparable size. You can see how between the two of these, if I put these receiver to receiver, right about like that-ish, I've got maybe three more inches, two more inches of barrel on my 5.56 by comparison. All right, I got three rounds of the 5.56. Here we go. That has a much deeper tone to it. While it is a bit louder, it's also deeper. And because 5.56 is just so much more capable for a dog heading outbound, I, this, there's no chance I'm gonna take a 300 blackout on a hunt. Unless it's like pigs and you're inside of 100 and you've got some expanding bullets. I mean, 300 blackout to me is just kind of limited in its capabilities. And I would hate to see a, a coyote trot home to his family because I didn't bring the right rifle. So let's do one more side by side. Let's do a 300. Definitely that's quieter. Yeah, it's a little bit louder, but I mean, it's nominal. And the capabilities of this round, this is what leads me to love 5.56. Five, All right, guys, I won't beat around the bush anymore about why I love 5.56 five, or why 300 Blackout is not my favorite. In the future, we're gonna do some more head-to-head -head testing. And having done this experiment, what I think I'm deciding is while I love my Rattler for like the super close quarters, and that can is a bit long for the Rattler, it looks good, but I think I might put a shorter suppressor on it just to kind of balance all things CQB. And then going forward for all the 300 Blackout testing, I think we're gonna stick to nine inch barrels 
per the original design of the 300 Blackout. Guys, if you like this content, make sure you hit that like, comment, subscribe. There's that new hype button that really does go a long way too for whatever reason. YouTube and their silly algorithms. I really appreciate your support. As always, stay safe and we'll see you in the comments. While I'm here, I wanted to do one more quick experiment, and that is, again, the same 14.5 inch rifle that you guys know I love. And now I've got the PTR Vent 1 on here to give it that ultra sexy FDE look to it. Let's get a couple extra rounds in here so we don't get last round hold open. Let's see how she fares. You know, it's gonna sound weird. I almost think the Rhino sounds better than my full size vent. And that Rhino is so much smaller. And we've got this new can on the way. You guys already know from Stealth Additive Works. That is super, super impressive. Make sure you stay tuned. Lots more to come. As always, guys, stay safe. And one more time, we'll see you in the comments.